for a free, no obligation, cash offer 24 hours a day. That's sellersadvantage.com. Everyone loves more of a good thing. And more. And Miss Moore was no different. As her name suggested, she loved more. More? Ah. So when Miss Moore was injured, she called Morgan and Morgan. With more lawyers, more offices, and more than $15 billion recovered, she didn't have to ask for more anymore. When you're injured, you deserve more. One more. Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Uh, let me help you with that. I'm good, man. Thanks. Are you sure? Everyone can use a little help. Volkswagen Tiguan with Front Assist. Visit your local Volkswagen dealer for 1.9% APR financing for 36 months on a new 2023 Taos or Tiguan. CBS Los Angeles, your home for Chargers football. This is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Monday, January 28th. I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. It's actually not January. It's August 28th. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. You know what? It didn't even occur to me as you said it. I'm like, what? <laughs> a little toasty for January, if that's the case. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Thanks so much for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here are the stories we're tracking for you this morning. They just, like, threw a cup of water on her face and were threatening to fight us all, and it was just... Crazy. A massive police response at Del Almo Fashion Center after a fight involving close to a thousand teenagers. We'll hear from witnesses who experienced the chaos. I would just like to reassure the families who are on the other side of the world that we're caring for your loved ones. A deadly Osprey crash involving you. Beautiful, and then now it's going to get even hotter. Oh so boy. get ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back, Aruta Bay. Uh, so we're definitely looking at some really hot weather on the way here, especially because this is the same system that brought the heat over from the Midwest. So you can see this morning Riverside already waking up to temperatures at 70 degrees. So we are dealing with not only hot and dry conditions, but you're probably going to need to turn on your air conditioning or those fans, crank it up, get a bit of a break at the moment. And then by the time we head just before the lunch hour, Hour, we're looking at those temperatures really soaring. So here's a look at the Inland Empire. We're talking triple digits by noon, and then we're going to see some of the hottest temperatures later on in the afternoon, about 106 possibly for some areas. All right, so here's a look at our highs today. The coast will still be rather toasty, but it's away from the coast as you get inland. That's where we're dealing with the really hot conditions where we have these heat advisories and excessive heat warnings. Uh, temperatures today, 82 for the coast, 92 for LA and Orange County, 109 for the valleys, 105 for the Inland Empire. 103 for the high deserts, and we're talking temperatures in the upper 80s for the mountains. I'll have more details on just how long all of this is going to last. All right, Kalina, good morning. Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. So we have a look at a couple of incidents already out there causing slowing throughout L.A. and also the Inland Empire. But starting off with a look at SkyCal on the 101 in Studio City, this doesn't look bad by any means. We do have a little bit of a delay, though, through Hollywood as you head southbound into the area. Here's a look at L.A. as a whole. You can still see lots of green, but we do have a stalled car here westbound 10 right at Vincent. They're running a traffic break to try to get the stall out of the way. You can't see the backup continue to build here. So westbound traffic leaving the 57 heading all the way out toward the 605. That'll take you almost 20 minutes to get through. You can't take the 210 or the 60 to get around that. And we also have a three car crash southbound 110 right at the 101. Lanes are blocked off here. That's pretty much causing a backup as you come off the five. Police activity reported on the 91. This is slowing you down coming off the 605 to about the 710. And coming up, I'll take you out to the Inland Empire. Ruta Bay, back to you. All right, Kalina, thank you. It's a good day to wear blue and yellow. The El Segundo All-Stars won the Little League World Series. So, so exciting. It's so exciting. And these new champs are coming home today after their big win. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is live at the field where the team trains. Hey, Tina, good morning. Good morning. So much excitement here in El Segundo, and there are going to be multiple celebrations and tributes to this team, including one we can see this.